we what's kicking uh, nobody's here so I'm just gonna start working on my video so as I see people pop up see what's going on do -do 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 -do. That's a gnarly eye roll. Nope, back it up just seconds. Do 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 Okay, save trim. Oh, let's add a title. Do 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 Bert eats hops. The doozy edition. What color? Let's make it green. Do 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 do. Custom colors. Let's make it green. Ooh, I like it. Let's make it bold. Mmm. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. I just blew video maker's mind. Oh, come on. Don't freeze on me now. La 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 la. Oh man. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, Meerkat. I'm losing my mind. Do 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 Ah, good morning. How are you? I can see your your picture. All right. Ah, uh, what's happening? All right, thanks for visiting. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time. Um, editing my video. Do, 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 do. Talking about beer and home brewing this morning. You're already gone. Cool. See ya. Mm -hmm. Live now on Meerkat. All right. Hey. Good morning. Talking about beer, home brewing, answering questions. Uh, if you have any questions, chat them in. Um, be more than happy to answer questions about beer in general or home brewing. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm editing my Birdie Tops video for the week. So uh, I'm doing kind of multiple things at once. If I see questions pop up, I will answer them. Uh, if I don't have an answer, I'll make something up that at least sounds good for you guys. So uh, yeah, let your friends know. Uh, let's talk about beer. Let's talk about home brewing. Uh, as you can see, I'm rocking the ZZ Hop shirt. Uh, I am the president of that home brewing club. The club's about 20 years old. I just became president a couple months ago. Uh, I myself have been home brewing for a little over two years. Uh, I work at a home brew supply store and craft beer tap room in Lee Summit, Missouri. So uh, that's my life in a nutshell. I'm getting ready to go to brew school also in August uh, out at the uh, Siebel Institute of Technology in Chicago. So uh, I'm going to go pro with this stuff. So anyway, uh, like I said, if you have questions, feel free to, uh, to chat them in at me. Uh, I will do my best to answer them. And uh, let's talk beer. So, uh, 
I'm going to continue editing my video. I've got to add uh, my soundtracks and everything to my video. Uh, let's do that right now. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Chinatown, my Chinatown open. We need to cut that. Let's, uh, we're going to do a quick fade in and fade out. It's going to be uh, pretty fast. Actually, we'll do a medium fade in. And I need to fade her out. Let's trim that beast back. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, start point, yep, okay. Do 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 do. Okay. So we're gonna back that up just a hair. We're gonna fade, we're gonna start the fade out right there. Uh, so end point, where it tops. So right there is where I want my so 9.66 seconds. So at 9.66 seconds, we're going to end. Hey guys, uh, talking about beer, talking about home brewing. You got questions? Fire them away on the chat. I will uh, answer them. Uh, if I don't have an answer, like I said, I'll make something up that at least sounds good. Uh, I'm pretty good at that, but uh, I do have a decent amount of knowledge. Definitely enough to get myself in trouble with. Uh, I'm also enjoying a tasty beverage. Uh, finishing this for my video. This is uh, from Mother's Brewing Company out of Springfield, Missouri. This is the Doozy Double IPA, 9% ABV, uh, 80 IBUs. This is a pretty badass beer. Uh, it is definitely a tasty treat. So I'm gonna be sipping on that, editing my video for the week, and, uh, and talking about homebrew. So chat me out questions. Uh, you know, like my feed on Meerkat, and uh, mm, my allergies are killing me today. Um, like it on Meerkat, retweet it on Twitter, uh, tell your friends on Facebook. Let's get this joint rocking. Uh, enter. So, let's check. What's my music volume like? I got that maxed out. Let's take her back to the beginning. All right. Uh, hey. What's going on? Okay, that's uh, good. Let's go back, and we're not going to do a fade in, I don't think. No fade in. So let's try that again. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. All right, we are cooking. Oh, so good. I should be a professional. No, I shouldn't. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using Windows Movie Maker. Because I'm too cheap to buy the real stuff. Um, I need to add my credits, screen, credits, Bert eats hops, eats hops, filmed by, filmed on location, at grains and taps. 24 Southeast Douglas Lee Summit Missouri Okay Do 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 uh, Grains and taps.com Zizi Hops Home Brewing Club Com. Uh, do do do. What's going on? Keep telling your Twitter friends. All right. <laughs> do do. What's happening on the Twitter? A little bit. I'm terrible at multitasking, by the way, so uh, I get distracted very easily. Uh, music. Chinatown, my Chinatown, um, written and performed by good old Louis Armstrong. Okay, there's my credit screen. 
we're going to crank up my credit screen a little bit. We're going to beef up that text. There we go. All right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm good with that color. And uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. make it bold. How does that look? That looks tasty. Okay. All right. Fantastic. I have a credit screen. So we're going to go... Alright, so we're going to back it up to here. Alright. It's weird looking at myself on this screen. I'm uh, looking at myself on my laptop. Uh, I'm looking at myself with a lot of different angles right now. It's kind of weird. Um, bam, right there. We're going to add music at current point. Open. We're going to fade that in uh, medium and fade out is going to be slow. So, okay. So, right there, we're going to do effects, fade to black. Uh, All right. Bam! All right, so let's try this thing out. Let's see how we look. Cheers, and fade to black, and roll the credits. That's way too fast on the credit roll. Let's work on that. Uh, text duration, seven seconds. Let's try nine seconds on the credit roll. All right, now I need to add my texts. Ooh, that's a terrible still. All right. Hey, guys, uh, for those of you just joining me, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, talking about beer, talking about home brewing. If you have questions, chat them out to me, and I will answer them for you. I'm um, getting ready to open up shop here at Grains and Taps in Lee Summit, Missouri. We are a homebrew supply store and craft beer tap room. Uh, somebody just parked a golf cart in my spot, so I'm going to go beat them up here in a minute. Uh, what time is it? It's 11.41 Central Time. Uh, for those of you on the East Coast, 12.41 lunchtime. For those of you on the West Coast, it is 9.41. Uh, so good morning. Howdy, hops today. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on okay. here. Nope, oh, let's cruise. Do, 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 do. If you're in the area, swing by and check us out. So All right. I appreciate everybody watching this week. Remember to check out Grains and Taps on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Grains. Uh, that's going to pop up there. Animations. I need a uh, text caption uh, at, hello, Apple logo. That's old school Apple. That's like back in the day Apple. What's kicking? Uh, I'm talking about beer and home brewing. If you got a question, uh, chat it out to me. Right there, right there, chat it out. Uh, that's where I'm at at uh, greens taps that needs to be bold and that not big well yeah that can be bigger bold uh hey what's happening uh answering beer and home brewing questions this morning uh see some familiar familiar faces not so much i can't see faces but i see some familiar uh uh pictures popping up there mike what's going on how are you doing i think you were able to join me last time well a couple times ago uh Let's see. Editing my video. Oh, man, look at that right there. All right, that's going to stay up for about five seconds. And hey, guys, hello. Uh, is it DJ Arley or D Jarley or D Jarley? Um, tell me, I'm curious. Oh, man. Uh, also remember to check out the I'm getting good at this. On Facebook. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on social media. I am at Casey Group. Okay, that means I need to back that up just a hair. I'm taking a break at work. I'm about to go all well, technically I am working. I actually need to clock in. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I've been here since 9.30 and uh, we're getting ready for a big festival down here today. So uh it's been kind of crazy this morning. I came in with the intentions to shoot my video two hours ago, and uh, I just got around to doing it about half an hour ago. So that's what's going on in my world. 
uh, clocking in for work right now, finally, even though I've been working for the last two hours. Uh, de -de 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 -de. I'm clocked in. Let's. Uh, All right, and back to editing video. Um, all in one, not the like Charlie. Okay, cool. Where that's a unique name. Uh, where does it come from? Come on, Facebook. So we're going to control C to copy that, and then we're going to paste it. Why? Because, <laughs> because I'm lazy. Um, do, 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 Oh man, that's a lot. Ah, for Norway, fantastic. Uh, I understand you guys have a pretty good beer selection going on over there. Uh, I see a lot of people from uh, Norway posting what looks to be good beer. Um, I would, I would love to uh, get out there at some point and and see your beer selection. Uh, okay. That's good. Let's add my transition. If you, have, if you have it already, make sure you follow me on. Okay, that's going to be, I need to back that one up about to right there. Facebook. Okay, so we're going to back that up a little bit more. Pretty much right there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice that, that the United States is, is booming again uh, as far as microbrews and craft beer goes. Uh, we're finally just reaching pre-prohibition numbers as far as the number of breweries in the United States. Uh, prior to prohibition, that number was around 4,400, uh, and I believe we're at or just surpassing that number now. In the Kansas City metro area, Kansas City, Missouri, KCK, um, that's uh, in the Midwest. We, we've got microbrews popping up everywhere, and it's fantastic. Uh, I couldn't be more excited about what's going on in the beer scene right now. Uh, it's great. Um, so I'm working on my video. I'm about to open up the shop here at Grains and Taps in Lee Summit, Missouri. Uh, check us out uh, online, grainsandtaps.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, Grains and Taps. We're on Twitter at Grains Taps. And uh, we're on Instagram as well, and I believe that's Grains Taps as well. Um, if you've got Untapped, the Untapped app, that's U-N-T-A-P-P-D. It's an awesome uh, beer check-in. It's like the best of Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can check in beers, keep track of your beers, rate them, take notes, and share them with all your friends. It's a pretty cool app. Uh, I'm on there at KC Brew Explorer. Uh, that'll be in my video, which I'll post the link on Twitter. So uh, if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at KC Brew Explorer. Uh, the same name that I use here on Meerkat. Uh, I use that pretty much all across social media. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Untapped is awesome. Um, all right, and my last caption. This week's video is short. It's like three, three minutes and some change. Uh, I didn't eat hops this week. Uh, did a little public service announcement. Uh, talking about the toxicity of hops for dogs, so uh, check that video out. I did try Mother's uh, Doozy Double IPA from Mother's Brewing Company out of Springfield, Missouri. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm trying to multitask here and do two things at once. I'm terrible at it, uh, so forgive me. Uh, I'm getting my trying to get my video done. And uploaded because while I'm at work, it takes freaking forever to upload. Uh, our work internet is so slow. Make sure you follow me on social media. I am at KC Brew Explorer on Twitter, Instagram, and Untapped. So we need to make that a little bit longer. Uh, we're going to make that uh, 
nine seconds. So let's make sure you follow me on Twitter. Twitter. Uh, do, 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 do. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, killed it. All right, guys. <laughs> I've got a complete video, and it's taken me like 15 minutes to do it. Uh, cold beer or room temp, Mike? Fantastic question. Um, Honestly, around 50 to 55 degrees. That's where most of the esters and flavors tend to get released at that temperature. So close to room temp. I usually will try it when it's cold, and then I will let it warm up. And there are some beers that are drastically, drastically different once they've warmed up. Sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad. So I would encourage you guys, uh, when you drink beer... Especially new stuff, try it twice. Try it cold and then let a little bit of it warm up and try it warm. Uh, especially with your bigger beers, your, your Imperials, your double IPAs, uh, your big stouts and porters, you're going to get some flavors out of those that you don't get when they're cold. So, uh, yeah, that's, and that's a great question. You know, a lot of people, especially Americans uh, in particular, we're used to drinking cold beer, but at the same time, a lot of people drink Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, which if it warms up, it tastes terrible. Uh, it's tolerable sometimes when it's cold, um, but yeah, with craft beer, definitely, uh, definitely, you know, I would I would recommend warming it up. Uh, some beers, I will like this Mother's. As it gets warmer, it's getting better. So uh, I've had this beer poured for probably 45 minutes, and it's pretty well at room temp, and it's 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 outstanding. Uh, it was it was good cold, but I get a lot more of the citra hops out of it. Uh, they hop the living daylights out of this thing with citra, and, and I, I citra is probably my favorite hop, so it's just it's fantastic. So I am going to save my video, uh, and then I'm going to get it uploaded for uh, YouTube. So uh, do, 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 hops, uh, the doozy edition. Okay, we're gonna save it. Bingo. So that's saving. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Mike, that's right. Uh, for the most part, uh, there are some beers like Hefeweizens and things like that. A lot of them are pretty mellow and pretty light. Uh, a lot of Pilsners are that way as well. You may get some differences in flavor and some more uh, intense flavors when it's warmed up, but the lighter beers are typically better cold. Um, I'm going to unplug my phone here. We're going to take a walk as I get the shop open this morning. Uh, my video's saving, so it's actually time to do some work here. Um, quick tour for those of you that haven't seen. There's my beer fridge. I've got approximately 60 different bottles and cans in my fridge. I also have three taps in there, uh, which you see that there? Three taps in the fridge. Ingenious. I don't know who thought of it, but it's brilliant. Uh, I have six taps here on my wall as long as some uh, assorted whiskeys, scotches, and uh, other liquors. So uh, we focus on the craft beer stuff. That's really kind of our niche. Um, you know, I, I, <laughs> that's we get people to come in, oh, do you have Miller Lite, do you have PBR? No, we don't. Uh, we've been known to carry PBR from time to time. Uh, it's not a craft beer. It's, it's an American domestic. Um, you know, still a decent beer. Uh, it's better than a lot of the domestic lights. Um, you know, so for those of you that aren't really into craft beer, uh, I encourage you to try stuff, branch out. Uh, I would recommend if you typically drink the lights to drink a beer called Blanche de Bruxelles. Um, it comes in a can or you can get it on tap. On tap, the tap handle looks like a dude peeing. See, there's a little like cherub taking a piss. Uh, beer is about that color. But it's like, uh, it's a Belgian wit beer, so a, basically a white wheat beer. Very light, very clean, and it's like a fuller flavored and fuller bodied version of your domestic lights. So when people come in asking me, you know, for a light beer, that's usually what I start them out on because that's like the gateway beer. So, uh, guys, for those of you that are just joining me, um, I'm talking about beer, home brewing. If you have questions, uh, chat them out to me. I'll answer them. Uh, it is, I've got about 10 minutes here to get my shop opened up. I say my shop. Uh, it's myself and the two owners. I am the employee. Uh, we are a craft beer tap room and homebrew supply shop. So as you can see, I've got a selection of carboys, 
going on over here, some brew kettles, um, things of that nature. Uh, let's see, over here I've got all my beer kits, brewing supplies, uh, brewing supplies, hey, all right, beer kits, wine kits. Um, yeah, so this is what I do day in and day out when I'm not going to school. Uh, I was, well, technically still am going to school for business. Uh, I am transferring out of DeVry University and I am going to go to brew school. Um, I'm gonna go pro. And, oh, there we go, got my lights. Um, I'm gonna be going to the Siebel Institute of Technology. Uh, it's based out of Chicago. It is the oldest and most prestigious brewing school in the United States. Um, however, I will not be relocating to Chicago. I will be taking their uh, online courses. So it's about a 12 to 15 month program. Uh, I'm super, super excited to start. Um, I love beer, I love brewing, I love everything about it. Uh, I am, I'm, again, I'm terrible at multitasking. I'm trying to get the shop open and I've forgotten what I'm doing. Um, so bear with me. Um, just do, 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 do. Uh, get my TVs on, my lights on. Uh, why is my... Oh, there it is. I was like, why is my TV not coming on? But it's coming on now. So I'm going to get some lights on here in the shop, put my signage out. Uh, as long as it's uh, not busy here in the shop, I've got some stuff to do. Uh, I will try and stay on here and field questions uh, for as long as I can. Um, that's not what I want to do. Let's brighten that up. Let's turn some fans on. I think I'm going to open the door today. It seems pretty nice out. It's a little warm today out here. Uh, Lee Summit, which is uh, just outside Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, it is closing in on noon uh, here in Kansas City. Uh, for those of you on the West Coast, that's 10 a.m. So good morning to you guys. For those of you on the East Coast, that's uh, 1 p.m. So good afternoon. Um, what I do is I get more of my lights on. Uh, I'm kind of limping around today. I played soccer last night. Uh, I play keeper, and uh, I had a guy driving in on goal, and uh, I challenged him, and we went foot to foot, and my foot lost, so it's pretty swollen up today. Uh, I don't think it's broken, but it's bruised real bad, so uh, I'm kind of hobbling around, trying to move as quick as I can, get stuff opened up, get stuff done here uh, in the next few minutes. Uh, do, 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 do. I need to kind of readjust and clean some stuff up. Uh, to, all right, hey, Mike, uh, thanks for joining me again today. Uh, it's good to, good to see you. Uh, you saw me, I guess. I didn't really get to see you, but uh, it's good chatting. We'll see you later. Uh, for those of you joining me that are new to the conversation, I'm talking about beer, talking about home brewing. If you have questions, uh, chat them out to me. Uh, I, I, let's talk beer. That's, uh, that's what I love to do. So uh, I get paid to do this, which is freaking awesome. Um, not many people have a job where they really get to do what they love 24-7, and, and I do. Uh, outside of working here at Grains and Taps, serving beer, helping people make beer and get into brewing, I, uh, I am president of ZZ Hops Homebrew Club in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, just became president a couple months ago. The club itself has been around for 19 years. Uh, it started in 96, so next year will be our uh, 20th anniversary. So that'll be awesome. Um, oh, what else do I have to think? Oh, so uh, yeah, I've been in the back room a couple times. Uh, this is my grain room. As you can see, I have lots of grains. I've got my milling machine, my prep table. Um, this is where, like when people ask for orders, um, we prep stuff for them. Uh, Charlie, I don't have anything from Norway. Uh, I don't know if I can get anything from Norway. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, send me some recommendations, and I'll see if it's stuff I can get in here. I'd love to bring in some, uh, some Norwegian stuff. We've had, uh, well, we get stuff from Duval um, out of Belgium, but that's because they distribute out here. Uh, they own Boulevard Brewing Company out here in Kansas City, uh, the Duval Mortgott Company. And, uh, and so I've got like Duval and Duval Triple Hop. Um, uh, I've got the, uh, the Blanche de Bruxelles, which is from Belgium as well. Uh, and then I get some uh, Brewery Le Chouf, um, which is another Belgian company. And they're another, uh, another Duval company. Uh, pretty much, for the most part, most everything I have is American Craft. 
Uh, I mean, I've got stuff from Four Hands out of St. Louis, Founders, uh, Urban Chestnut out of St. Louis, Tall Grass out of Manhattan, Kansas, Breckenridge out of Colorado, uh, Omegong from uh, New York. Uh, let's see, I got a lot of Missouri stuff, a lot of Colorado stuff. Uh, some California stuff, I got some Green Flash, some Lagunitas, some uh, Sonoma Ciders, uh, some Santa Fe Brewing Company, um, some Summit Brewing Company, some Oscar Blues. I uh, got a pretty good selection kicking right now. I uh, got some Sierra Nevada on tap, some Moose Drool for you brown ale fans. Uh, Moose Drool is outstanding. Uh, it's a fantastic beer. Uh, my favorite brown ale, without question. Uh, I've also got the 2X IPA on tap from Southern Tier, which is uh, another tasty treat. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to redo my signboard. Uh, oh, hey, my movie's done saving, so now it's time to upload to YouTube. So we're going to close that. I'm going to minimize. Uh, the YouTube upload will probably take like two hours. Uh, because our internet is so slow and awful. Oh, and I got some guys coming to the door. Guys, I'm going to jump off of here for now. If I can, I will uh, come back later. Thanks for joining me, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Have a great day, everybody.